guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my single ladies and my man Matt project pan. I'm doing this with a bunch of lovely ladies. You most likely know them because I talk about them all the time and I have done this project since January. But if you're new here, this is a single ladies and my man Matt project that is based around a matte palette and yeah, an all matte palette and then we are going to pair it with some single shadows which is the single ladies i was crazy and i chose my morphe 35 om palette for this year this is a project that is going to end whenever we don't have any uh, matte palettes in our collection or matte shadows whatever we will make it work in the end when we don't have any matte palettes maybe we can depot some stuff I don't know. Let me show you where I was last time with this palette. I can already say now there is not that much progress and I don't have any new pants but let me show it to you anyway and let's talk about the shadows that I have used the most this month. This is where I am right now so as you can see and as I said no new pants but I think I have expanded one and I have made a dent in one and you can see some marking and stuff like that in some other shades. Let's start with the shadow that I might have expanded my pan on. Not really sure but I have used this a few times to blend out my crease shadow and brow bone and stuff like that. So yeah I've used that a few times and then I have tried to focus on that shade right there for my transition shade. And you can see it is wearing down. When I feel it, I can feel a slight dent. So I can feel that I have used it a little bit. Um, or a little bit, a, a lot. <laughs> but these shadows are so dry and so hard pressed into the pants that they're really, really hard to hit pan on. Um, and I don't want to use a really, really stiff brush in my transition area. I just don't want to. <laughs> And then for my crease, I have used this one a bunch and as you can see there's a dent in it right there. I also use it on my lower lash line a few times. Yeah, well, a lot since I have a dent. But I really wanted to have pen by this update in that one, but it didn't happen. I do have a dip, so I'm happy about that. So let's try to see if I can have pen on that next time. For my outer corner, I have begun to use that shadow right there and this shadow. I kind of mix it. In the first part of the month, I was really focusing on this, this one. I have used these two shadows right here to set my eyeliner a few times. So you can see some wear on those, but you can't see any dip or anything. So that is kind of where I am with this palette. I am trying, I'm panning something for my brows, so I'm not really using a dark brown for those uh, at the moment. But yeah, that is where I am with my man, Matt. Then we have my single ladies that I have right here in my Big C palette, because I am panning quite a bit from this at the moment. So let me show you the most exciting shade and and it is mostly exciting because I hit pen. I'm really excited. This is a small benefit a single shadow in Call Me Buff that was in a holiday set in 2015. I finally hit pen on this. I have had this in for months. For so many months it had Pa uh, not, not a pan, a dip. I finally hit pan this month and it has just been, it has been growing and growing and growing. I'm really excited about that. So, because I hit pan, I'm going to put another one in for this one. So in this place, I'm going to roll in this other Benefit eyeshadow in Nude Swings. And this is kind of a champagne rose gold shade. It is more shimmery than the Call Me Buff one, which is more of a satin finish. So I think this is going to be quite nice all over the lid and I really want to work on it because it takes forever to hit pen on these. So let's see how long it will take for me to hit pen on this one. I have three other single ladies because we are working on four at a time. I have some Makeup Geek shadows and the first one is Morocco, which is this burnt orange that you can build up as this color or a really light dust stuff color. I have it in my outer corner and crease and on my lower lash line and I have been really good at using this every single day in every look and on my lower lash line all the time basically. Um, so I have quite a dent, well 
I have a small dent in it now, so that is really nice that you can finally see some wear on this because this is really, really, really pigmented. That is really, really nice that I can finally see some progress on it. So, that is still here. The other Makeup Geek eyeshadow that I have is Anarchy, which is this beautiful purple color. And as you can see, there are some dents in it. Well, a dip for my brush and some dents from my cat my kitten stood on this and then his claw kind of knocked it so it has some markings but that's fine it's just eyeshadow and i have a ton left so it's okay i have been really trying to use this so i have a slight dip in it now i'm switching between three eyeshadows or shimmery eyeshadows for my lid and this is one of them so if I use this I use the Morocco shade and then a few shades from the Morphe palette to complete the look and if I use this shadow which is a olive green I also use Morocco and a few from the Morphe palette so I switch between this Anarchy shade and then this shade which is from Colored Rain and it is called Side of Olives on the eyelid it is slightly lighter so I really don't mind it and it is a beautiful olive green shade. I just really really like this. I don't know what I, I'm going to say more than that. I have been searching for a perfect olive olive toned shadow from, for me and this is perfect for me. I created a small dip in this shadow as well so I'm pretty excited about that. You can see the wire here in the middle. I'm pretty excited about it. It is quite new, but it takes a while to depend on shadows, so I really don't mind working on it. So that is where I am with my Single Ladies and My Man Matte Project Pan. I have a pan on a shadow and rolled another one in, and that is the most exciting part of this video, other than that I have some really good dips going on here and there. I really hope to have pan on a Single Lady next month and a few shadows in my Morphe palette. Let's hope I can. I really want to have some more exciting updates in these videos. Um, but I'm doing the best as I can and eyeshadow is so hard to work through and hit pan on. And I think it was a good idea for me to switch out the single ladies whenever I hit pan on them and go on to another shadow in the Morphe palette when I hit pan on that. Next year I am planning on switching out my um, matte palette because I have quite a few in my collection and I want to work on something new. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like if you did, subscribe down below if you're new here, I would love for you to hang out on my channel, I do a lot of project pans and I do updates all of the time, so if you want to see project pan, you can stay, I would love that. I do a lot of palette bingos, empties and stuff like that, after this video I am going to film an empties video, I'm just pre-filming a little bit, so I hope you don't mind. When this goes up, you will have seen a few videos of me in this clothing, so I hope you're not sick of it yet. I'm sorry if you are. But yeah, until my next video, please take care.